Uh, it's not only a one of a kind space used for harvesting, it also happens to be located in a very peculiar location. Take a look. It doesn't matter if they're brand new, a day old, they get dirty because they get sticky and yeah. things get on them. It's not the attire of the typical chef. Then again, the typical chef doesn't moonlight as a beekeeper. When you get stung once, you're usually getting stung a bunch. And so the smoke blocks the communication. You don't see many farms in downtown Cincinnati, but if you ever find yourself on the fifth floor roof of the Hilton Netherland Plaza, you most certainly will. We started about five years ago with two colonies. We now have four colonies of bees. Uh, we use honey, the pollen, the honeycomb throughout the year uh, in our restaurant orchids. And then all of this is all capped. This is all just um, bees all in here. So these will hatch in a few days. Chef Todd Kelly wanted to do something unique with his menu at Orchids at Palm Court. It's safe to say you won't find anything quite like this in the Queen City. From honey marinated beets to a honeycomb garnished cocktail, even the Orchids famous granola bar, the honey produced by the bees is put to good use. We extract usually twice a year and we use it in a couple of our signature items throughout the year. The bee pollen we'll use all summer and into the fall. It really is kind of cool and uh, people have a, you know, a pride in it when they're harvesting it themselves. But it's not just about the honey. Chef Kelly's mission also includes helping to grow a dying bee population. You know, just as little as 10 years ago, there was 20% uh, loss over the winter. Now it's up to almost 50% in the state of Ohio. So, you know, you have to really try hard to keep the bees and uh, keep them healthy. So the next time you see that pesky bumblebee buzzing around downtown, try not to bug him. He's working on dinner. They go pretty far to get the pollen, too, they you go were all, telling Yeah, me. he said they'll, they'll go down to the river, uh -huh. grab the pollen, and back zoom up to the hotel. back on up to the hotel. Yeah. yeah and cool. uh, peak season is in uh, July, and he said they'll have close to a million bees. A million bees! Go back I, in July. I think we're going to go back, yeah, because yeah. we want to see... Uh, we want to see the process. We want to see that honey drizzle, the, the drip, and the, how they get it and everything. I know. I want to see how they get it out. Yeah. There. That'll be cool. I just yeah. think of that scene in Tommy Boy. Bees! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's 6.07.